angry cops reporting live for DNN in Odessa, Ukraine, where the Ukrainians have been able to properly port the once what we thought was sunken Moscow ship that Russia had abandoned in the middle of that waterway that's in that place. So, long story short, Russians are telling us that the Moscow had caught fire and munitions on the ship detonated, causing the damage, whereas Ukrainian officials are telling us that no, 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 a Poseidon missile was fired from off Odessa and into the sea where it struck the Moscow. Now, how the Moscow got here and is in such fantastic shape, I'm unaware of. However, we have a specialist to come in and talk to us today. Sir, if you would. Someone from the Ukrainian Special Institute of Intelligence is here to clarify some of these issues. Sir, could you please give us your name for the record? Uh, hello, I'm Dmitry Antonov. Now, Dmitry, uh, what we're trying to do here is discover which side is telling us the truth. The Russians are saying that the Moscow ship had caught fire and that munitions exploded on board. However, yeah. the Ukrainians, uh, your your intelligence agency, is telling us that no, 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 it was a Poseidon missile. Could you please clarify this for us? Uh, yes, uh, Ukraine have uh, 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 own Poseidon missile. Uh, we say for special occasions, mm -hmm. birthdays, Russian invasions. We take off real low altitude, uh, avoid radar detection. You pop up, it instant signature from smokestack. A uh, missile travel down tube, and it gets in there and it fucking explodes and uh, uh, you know magazine, and. Um, then, you know, maybe we use missile, maybe Vladimir Putin's a fucking liar, and we didn't blow it up, uh, we blew it up, we blew it up. What I'm getting out of this is that this was a fantastic strike by the Ukrainian military. Now, some additional questions that I have is, originally the Russians had stated that once the ship was deadlined, they were towing it away for repair, but it's here now in Ukraine. Uh, could you expand on how it got here? Oh, yes. Kremlin say that the ship uh, sank on the way to tow to uh, Maripol. Uh, uh, no, we use Special uh, Agricultural Maritime Division, Ukraine, and uh, we use the naval um, director, and we, 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 we pull it, but they embarrassed, so they tell you that it's sunk. You used a water tractor to pull it into port. Uh, yes, uh, it is the naval variant of the, uh, you know, John Deere. So your land-based, I guess, John Deere removal of all these armored personnel carriers, you've now ramped it up to now remove naval equipment. Uh, yes, uh, America very helpful supply, uh, great agricultural equipment, and Ukraine, uh, you, we tow ship. Outstanding. I, I, I can barely believe it. My, my final question would be, now that you have it here, what are your plans with the ship now that it's under Ukrainian control? Well, uh, we offer a uh, ship to NATO. Uh, the technological reasons, scrap metal reasons. Uh, the Swedes have promised us uh, Adidas tracksuit for all of best occasions and, and, and most prestigious balls. Uh, with prestigious what? The balls. Balls? Uh, yes, uh, big beautiful balls. You know, every Ukrainian girl deserves to go to ball. Oh, like a disco? Yes. Okay, well, and on that note, back to you, back at the homeland, ACL. Is there missiles? Why are we looking up? Sometimes you look up. Sometimes you look up. It is largest monetary loss for Russia so far in war. I would agree, considering that they don't count people as currency, although they use them pretty cheaply. The question would be, now that you have it here, what are you... <laughs> I looked at it, I looked it. You looked up, I looked up. <laughs> Come on in. 